Hey guys, before you watch the video, please keep in mind that although there are many illegal applications for torrents, the, the intention of this video is to instruct people on how to use torrents legally, and I do not intend to condone piracy. Hey guys, it's Andrew, and uh, this video is going to be a quick overview of downloading things such as movies, uh, games, software, uh, all of these things using torrents and uh, trackers, and I'll cover both of those terms in the course of this video. Uh, but before we get started, you're going to want to download a BitTorrent client. Uh, this is a piece of software that will allow you to download torrent files, uh, which essentially are necessary for you to acquire these pieces of media that you're looking for. So the one that I suggest you use is uTorrent, uh, available at uTorrent.com. However, if you choose, you can use another uh, client such as LimeWire, uh, Azuris, Views, uh, anything like that should work. Just Google BitTorrent client and there's a million results. Um, so go ahead and download and install one of those. I suggest uTorrent, of course. But uh, once you've got that downloaded and installed, we can move on. So at this point, I'm going to assume that you've downloaded and installed your BitTorrent client and I'm going to move on to the tracker or torrent website. Now the, the benchmark of torrents is of course the piratebay.com. Uh, it's, it's a famous website, I'm sure many of you have heard of it if you're searching for uh, torrents. So uh, go ahead and, and navigate to the piratebay.org and uh, type in whatever you're looking for in the search box. And if the Pirate Bay doesn't have what you're looking for, or if you just don't like it, you can always wait for registration to open on Demonoid. That's a really, really high quality website. Um, and a couple others worth mentioning are Mininova and Kickass Torrents, if you can't find what you're looking for after the first two. So, um, yeah, go ahead and search, uh, type in your search term in the box and click Pirate Search. Um, before you click search, actually, make sure that you've checked off what it is you're looking for in the uh, boxes beneath the search box. This will ensure that you get precisely what you're looking for and you won't have to sift through as many results. Okay, so I've only got two results here because it's a fairly obscure thing that I'm looking for. Um, but typically what you would get is a few pages of results if you're searching up something really popular like a new movie or uh, an album or something like that. Um, so what I suggest you do for uh, downloads where there's a lot more results is to click the SE link on the top right corner of the results page. And what this is going to do is order the results by the number of seeders they have. And seeders are essentially the number of people you are able to download the file from. So this kind of indicates how popular it is and also uh, what type of quality you're getting from the torrent. So once you've ordered them, take a look at the top three or four results, find out which one suits your needs, and click on the uh, name of that link. Okay, so then it'll bring you to the torrent page where you can download either a torrent or a magnet link. Uh, I'm not quite sure what the distinction is between these two download options. However, I typically take the magnet link just because uh, I find it a little bit quicker. So you can choose either one. The method of downloading doesn't change much between the two. So I'm just going to click Magnet, select uTorrent from the list, and click OK. If your uh, BitTorrent client doesn't show up in this list, just click Choose an Application right here, browse to it, and double click on the executable file, then select it from the list and click OK. So then what you'll see is uh, the item in the Downloads panel here. And it'll list all the things such as the name, the size, how much of it is done, how many people are seeding the download, and the speed at which you're downloading. Uh, now at the moment, the torrent file that I just downloaded is already finished. So we can see these things in the, the Completed tab on the left side here. Um, so when your torrent files are finished, they'll come to the Completed tab. But when they're downloading, they'll be in the Downloading tab. Um, so, just make sure that you familiarize yourself with the interface of uTorrent and 
this would provide you with a better experience. So once your download is finished, you're going to click on the name, then right click and choose open containing folder. Now this will open up all the files you need to install that application or game or copy those uh, media files into iTunes or whatever it is you need to do with, with uh, this download. So that's pretty much it. If you guys have any questions, please leave a comment below and I'll try to get to them as soon as possible.